Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's a privilege and an honor to be here with you this morning to bless and uh, say our opening prayer for this gathering. So let's take a few moments to center ourselves, prepare ourselves for this ongoing struggle for justice. Gracious and loving God, who created us in your image, grant us grace fearlessly to contend against evil and to make no peace with oppression, and that we may reverently use our freedom, help us employ it in the maintenance of justice in our communities and among all of us here gathered today. Prepare us for the ongoing struggle to recognize the human dignity of every person on this earth, especially today we lift up our immigrant brothers and sisters and all working people. May we fight for your truth, compassion, and justice in the here and now. Let us not wait. Let us work for this even now as we gather. Que Dios bendiga esta, la presencia de tu pueblo aquí, especialmente Dios a todos los trabajadores y el pueblo inmigrante. Que nos prepares para este camino de justicia, para seguir luchando en este camino por paz, justicia y compasión para todos. Esto lo decimos en el nombre de Dios, que es un Dios de liberación, de paz y justicia. Amén. Buenos días. How are we doing today? Poco de frío. Good morning. My name is Rebecca Ronquillo. <laughs> and I'm a lead organizer with the Korea Town Immigrant Workers Alliance, Kiwa. Soy organizadora con Kiwa, la Alianza de Trabajadores Emigrantes de Korea Town. Y hoy tengo el honor de compartir un poquito de la historia de por qué Mayo primero y cómo es que tomamos esta iniciativa aquí en Los Ángeles a revivir un día tan importante para seguir luchando por los derechos de los trabajadores. Empezó en 1999 en la cual Kiwa, una de las organizaciones comunitarias y otros compañeros como Cherla, PWC y uh, Garment Worker Center, este, en ese momento Kiwa tenía una campaña en contra del Elephant Snack, un negocio en el cual había muchas malas condiciones, robo de salario en contra de nuestra comunidad y se decidió empezar el primero de mayo en frente de este negocio para demandar que los derechos de los trabajadores latinos, coreanos, raza que fuera, fueran respetados. Y hoy estamos aquí para regresar a esas raíces y seguir y decir que vamos a seguir luchando. En el 99-2000 y este año 2014, vamos a seguir luchando y demandando. ¿Qué queremos? ¿Cuándo? ¿Cuándo? Thank you. And up next, I'm going to introduce Asa Marielena Durazo who is going to share with us a little bit of why we are here today and why we are marching this year. Thank you. Um, yesterday was Cesar Chavez's birthday. And he said, once social change begins, it cannot be reversed. You cannot edu uneducate the person who has learned to read. You cannot humiliate the person who feels pride. You cannot oppress the people that are not afraid anymore. And immigrants in this country are not afraid anymore. And he also created a movement, a union for farm workers, because he believed that no one who works hard should stay poor, and that everyone should be treated with dignity and respect for their contributions as workers to this society. So here we are, May Day, coming up, and we're gonna, on the street of Cesar Chavez. It's a symbol of how much we have come, immigrants and all workers. On the other hand, Walmart and Burger King are just down the street. And they remind us, they remind us that millions of people are working hard for poverty wages. So sisters and brothers, we're uniting the issues of workers and their, their um, right to living wages and immigrants. And the right of immigrants 
to be in this country in a way that is that they're treated with respect. 2006, you all remember, there were millions of people who marched. Millions. Now, since then, evangelicals and Catholics, the law enforcement with community, business with labor, even some Republicans with the Democrats all say immigration reform now. Don't wait any longer. We passed the Senate bill. The House refuses to vote. But you know what? We don't give up. We never give up. Nunca nos damos por vencidos. So we say every worker deserves a living wage. That's why on May Day, hotel workers who are fighting for $15 an hour are going to be here. Fast food, fast food workers who have been striking are going to be here. Sanitation workers, car wash workers, home care workers, poor drivers, poor truckers, all are going to be here. Looking down on us today, Cesar Chavez would be telling us to put on our walking shoes, put on our organizing shoes. This May Day, we're going to march and rally and demand immigration reform with a path to citizenship, relief, no more deportations, and also, all workers deserve a living wage. That's what May Day is about in 2014. Solo quiero decir, la combinación, lo que César Chávez representa por nosotros en esta calle, es el progreso que hemos hecho, pero Walmart y Burger King representan lo que todavía no se ha cumplido y es un sueldo digno para todos los trabajadores. Por eso vamos a unir la lucha de los trabajadores y también la lucha de los inmigrantes. El primero de mayo nació en este país cuando inmigrantes estaban luchando por el derecho de la jornada de ocho horas. Es decir, que no tenían que trabajar más de ocho horas sin pago extra. Ese movimiento nació en los Estados Unidos por inmigrantes luchando por todos los trabajadores. Es lo que vamos a hacer este primero de mayo. Gracias. Hey. Up next, we're going to hear from Isabel Medina, a member leader from Cherla. A continuación, vamos a escuchar de Isabel Medina, miembro líder de Cherla. Hey. Eh, buenos días, mi nombre es Isabel Medina. Mi familia y yo tenemos 17 años pagando taxes como cualquier ciudadano americano. Mi hijo es beneficiario de DACA, pero esto es solamente un permiso temporal. La unidad familiar de millones de familias trabajadoras en Estados Unidos es amenazada todos los días por perfil racial. Eh, corremos peligro de ser deportados cada día que salimos a las calles a trabajar a trabajar para que nuestro gobierno siga recibiendo esos taxes y en cambio recibimos deportaciones. Si sí podemos ganar la reforma migratoria con un camino a la ciudadanía, si nos unimos como comunidad, si tomamos las calles y demandamos a nuestro gobierno que así como toma nuestro dinero, también nos dé nuestro derecho de una reforma migratoria con un camino a la ciudadanía que nos permita mantener nuestras familias unidas y también mantener este país porque somos el brazo derecho que trabaja para la economía de este país. Tomemos las calles, marchemos este mayo primero, demandemos a nuestro gobierno una justa reforma migratoria con un camino a la ciudadanía. Como estamos celebrando César Chávez, sé que sabemos que sí se puede ganar una reforma migratoria con un camino a la ciudadanía. ¡Sí se puede! ¡Sí se puede! My name is Isabel Medina. My family and I, we have 17 years uh, paying taxes as any working family, as any American citizen here in the United States. My son is a DACA beneficiary, but this is only a temporary relief. Family unity is threatened when millions of hardworking families are threatened due to racial profile. Every single day we could face deportation. Yes, we can win an immigration reform if we work together. If we go this March, I'm sorry, this May 1st to March, 
and demand our government to give us immigration reform with a pathway to citizenship. So let's march May 1st. We can make it happen if we, go, if we work together. Thank you. Yay! Up next, we will be hearing from Jenny Soon from Nakasek, part of Task for Our Families as well. Welcome. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jenny Sun, and I'm here today on behalf of the Korean Resource Center and NACASEC. We are proud to join the May Day March to show solidarity and support with our workers, but also to send a message to our congressional leaders that workers' rights and immigrant rights are human rights. On February 24th, Fast for Families Across America began its two-bus nationwide tour. I had the privilege to join the tour last week, traveling through Wisconsin and Chicago. During this time, I met Latino, Asian, African, and European immigrants who all want the same thing, immigration reform. At every stop, we shared our stories, our pain, fasted, and prayed together. The cry for immigration reform is not only from the Latino community or just in California. The need for just and humane immigration reform covers all of America and across all ethnic groups. Citizens and aspiring citizens alike are fasting. They are praying and they will not stop until immigration reform is passed. Thank you. Okay. Up next, a continuación, vamos a escuchar de nuestra compañera Olvita Ramirez, uh, que viene aquí con USWWSEIU. Olvita. Really quickly, Ulvita is, uh, if you, as you all know, on February, uh, was it March, February, March or February on the 21st, February. her husband Cesar, an immigrant from Guatemala, died at the job, died at the work site in the airport. And we just wanted to make sure that as part of May Day, we reiterate the importance of respecting workers' rights and not allowing these injustices to continue.